Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to reach Ultimate Champion League with 3 Pinoxo Cycle, my favorite deck in the game. As of right now, I'm exactly 6 wins away from reaching the goal, and I'll be doing so live for you in today's video. So currently, I have 2 losses in the season, so looking like a 95% win rate on this account if everything goes well. I was actually supposed to record this video for you guys yesterday. I know I did my Road to Ultimate Champion a couple days back, and I was supposed to do this as a follow-up the next day, but truthfully, I just got really caught up in my day. I went to work out with my friends. It was a lot of fun, and after that, we ended up hanging out for hours, so I was kind of out the whole day. I got back really late at night, I think like past 8 or something, um, and I was just a little bit too tired to record a video, in all honesty, so didn't get around to it, but I did mention in that video that I'm finally done with my first year of university, and by extension, uh, just free for the summer right now anyways, until I get my internship, most likely, but I am super excited because I'm also going to get back into the gym. I said I'm really happy to be getting back into content creation, but especially getting back into the gym with consistency and hard work is something I'm extremely excited for and very much looking forward to, so uh, that'll be a lot of fun. just going to really dedicate my and see what I can do in the next few months. So yeah, great stuff. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the matches and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So uh, picking up where I left off, I am one step above. Found our game against Big D. Gonna give him the good luck. And I'm feeling pretty good right now because I mean, I have the Dagger Duchess, I just maxed her. So she should be very solid and should help me out quite a lot in, a l in many situations. We see a Lava Hound first play. This is what I always do against Lava Hound guys. I go Expo same lane, inner tile tucked in. And I'll explain all of this over time. Goes for a really bad loon. Look at this. I think it'll only get one hit, maybe zero. Nah, okay, Duchess isn't that broken, but z one hit. And Duchess is going to reload, which is super nice here right now, actually, because I really need that. So she's basically going to be full charge. Going to show you guys a little trick against Lava Hound here. I'm going to go Skeletons to kite this Mega Minion over here, and then go Tesla to hopefully do what I want it to do. Okay, that does not work out. But what I tried to do right there was get the Tesla to target the Mega Minion first. And the reason for that is because you always want to target the support troops against Lava Hound before taking out the Lava itself. Um, that did work out supremely well, though. Look at the damage difference right now. And I'm just going to switch my archers again. He could go Tombstone, he could go Barbs or something. I'm really tempted to just Expo up, though, pretty soon, because... Okay, yeah, Tombstone. I'm not going to Expo, I guess, um, because I don't really just want to go into a Tombstone. I'll, like, cycle a bit, and then just take the Tombstone out with my Log. Uh, if he goes Lava, I'll go Expo again. You know, same idea. Goes for the Minions, that is okay. I think I'll Knight. I don't want to waste my Tesla uh, too early. Goes for a Super Aggro Lava. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go Archers here, Tesla here. And I'm not really concerned, because if he Fireballs one, he actually... Okay, number one, he can't even Fireball, because he just Fireballed, I just remembered. Um, but also, even if he did, notice how I separated my Archers from my Tesla, so he would not be able to uh, get any kind of spell value. He goes for a really bad Fireball, because now he's at, like, one Elixir. I can guarantee it to you guys. Yeah, as I said... He was so low, he I knew he didn't have enough. He gets Tombstone down super late. Probably going to zap to retarget, and at that point it's already going to be a good game. So, yup, what did I tell you guys? I'm going to log the uh, excess skeletons. Right now, hit the tower as well, and that is going to be a good game. So, just really bad fireball, honestly. What he should have done is probably just been patient and cause waited for me to expo, because I was going to expo no matter what, most likely. Like That was a really nice counter push. And he has not given up. I'm going to cycle archers first, so that I can get them to be on the board. Then I'll go Expo once this knight walks up, and he's basically forced to go Balloon right now for this Expo. Goes Barbs instead. I can just log all of them. I can go Tesla like this on the Loon. I'll actually Ice Spirit too, so I'll keep my Expo alive. That was almost literally perfect, guys. I almost got the Loon to get zero hits on the Expo. Imagine how satisfying that would have been. But still look at how great that sequence was. He has to Fireball, and the Tesla Pulse stunned every single Lava Hound. Like, that was just perfection. And so right now, this is just looking like an absolute masterclass against Lava Hound. I don't want to toot my own horn too much, but if you guys have been watching me for a while, you will know that Lava Hound is literally my best matchup, or one of them, in the entire game. Uh, bar none, I almost always beat Lava Hound if I'm playing in my element. If I'm not, like, choking and doing something stupid, uh, then I always win against Lava Hound with 3.0, even if it's kind of a harder variant. I have a video on my other channel, SK777, just going to plug that one real quick if you guys want to check out my other content on there. Um, but I got that, and I beat an impossible matchup. It was like Lava Hound, Lightning, Poison, Evo Valk. So, really ridiculous matchup, but as I said, I just have a lot of experience. If you guys are struggling against Lava Hound, I have countless videos against it on my channel. Into our next game against Lambo28, going to split... Archers and Expo opposite right away as he goes for the Knight, because that could be his primary Expo tank. Goes for the Hog, just going to go Skeletons, plus Log for the Firecracker. I was I missed the Hog, but Duchess is so broken that doesn't really matter. He's going to have to Earthquake now. He's definitely playing Hoggy Q. Um, 
Or arrows, I suppose. And I think just Ice Spirit should full counter this knight. Do I even need it? I don't, because Duchess is so broken. Look at her. I'm so glad she's getting nerfed, by the way, guys. They did just announce the work-in-progress balance changes, not the finalized ones. So these are not confirmed yet, but uh, once the confirmed ones come out, I'll probably do a discussion video with one of my friends uh, just talking about the changes. I think that would be a lot of fun, so let me know if you guys would be into that as well. Uh, but right now, we're just, like, big chilling. It goes for the guard, so it might not be Hoggy Q, I suppose, because he hasn't played an EQ on my expo uh, last time. He's going to hog the bridge right now, most likely. Yep, what did I tell you guys? Very predictable hog player. He's just going to go Tesla to kite the hog over. And if he goes for the Earthquake now, that would be a terrible misplay. And if anything, I'm going to go Expo no matter what, because I have this setup helping out regardless. The only thing that's not really in my favor right now is that my Duchess is super low, but that doesn't really matter. going to Ice Bird to predict whatever he plays, and that's going to be GG already. So I'll just call it early. Number one, it literally is a good game. I took his entire tower, and I have like one pair of arrows on my tower worth of damage. Um, number two, psychological warfare. You know, you have to get in your opponent's head. So that is already a good game. On another note, if you guys do enjoy the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. As I said, I'm finally getting back into the content grind now that I'm done with my first year and I'm not busy with final exams anymore. So would really appreciate any kind of support because I'm going to be grinding a lot. I have lots of goals I want to achieve right now. I would love to get a creator code and I would love to just grow my channel. Next milestone goal is probably 40k, but, you know, 50k is like a nice number as well. So I'm just going to do my best. And if you guys are here for the content, then feel free to show some love. So... Goes for a Tesla himself. That'll actually do pretty well. I think my Tesla's gonna die. But this is the benefit of pre-Tesla. Look at this. I'm already back to one. And I can just go Tesla like this. If he goes for the Lightning, I believe it won't even kill my Evo Tesla. Number one, yeah, it won't. And uh, number two, it still would have been a huge overcommit. So not really worried either way. He's probably gonna have to Lightning right now. I'll to kite this Mini P.E.K.K.A. into the Evo Tesla. Look at that beautiful pulse. Beautiful log as well. Oh my goodness. And... He has to go for the last second Tesla. Probably going to hog in front of this. Yeah, that would be a good play. I'll show you guys a fun trick here. Tesla over here to activate King against that Firecracker. And I'm going to Ice Spirit as well, just because the Firecracker uh, was not dead. And that's going to be GG. Might as well just go for a defensive expo for fun. I mean, the game is literally over. I'll bridge block everything he plays. So that if he goes for a Hog Rider, it'll go directly in front of that Knight. And it will get tanked for. Um... Yeah, he's not going for the hog. I guess he can go now, but, like, look at that. I have everything on lock, so GG's. Beautiful win against Hog Lightning. Not the easiest of matchups. I just didn't think he played it very well. I mean, the dude had arrows for my archers, lightning for my Expo and Tesla, and he had an Evo Knight. Like, that is really not that great of a matchup, although he does have a pretty weird, um, uh, like, set of cards. Like, Knight is fine, guards are fine, but Mini P.E.K.K.A. is weird. I feel like that should be... Uh, Ice Spirit, most likely. Or, like, maybe a Fire Spirit, so that's weird. On another note, I did, unfortunately, lose to this stupid MK Recruits deck, dude. I was just trying to record this video, and I had a really nice win against Hog. Then I lost to this because the guy went Recruits first play after I already split my Archers, and then I went Expo opposite. He just ignored it and went MK on one side, and I kind of just got really overwhelmed by the push. So lesson learned, you can't always be aggressive with your expos. Like if they let it go, you'll get a lot of damage, but you might just lose on the counter push. So that was really tough. I also feel like with Prince's Towers, I would have defended that because Duchess is weak against beatdown, especially in uh, situations where she's just overwhelmed, I feel. So that was a little tough. But I mean, it's okay. We move on from that. I would have loved to get the 97% win rate. Now we're down to 95, unfortunately, because I found out that two losses is a 95% win rate because I already got the 95 uh, on my other account with two losses, so. We do see this as well. This looks like a really bad match, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Maybe Royal Giant, like Cycle, or maybe even Royal Giant Earthquake. I don't even know, but this looks terrible. So I'm not really looking forward to this one. Because he has a giant skeleton too. Like, that's just terrible for me. Um, the reason I think it's RG is because he has... Yep, exactly. But I'm gonna go Expo right now and try and get a huge lock. This might be one of my only opportunities to get a connection in this game. I'm gonna need to predict a Bomber. I think that he has it back in Cycle, and he's gonna go for it. Um... Need a lock so bad, right? Oh, I misplayed, guys. No. My ex was going to lock onto the RG. That is terrible for me. Although, look at the knight putting in work. Terrible bats as well, by the way. I feel like that should have just been supporting the RG. Wait, I'm actually going to get a lock. Hold up. Yeah, we're going to get a lock. I was almost going to pre-log a bomber right there, but thankfully I didn't. I trusted my gut, and I was like, okay, he's not going to go for one. He wouldn't waste it like that. Um, but yeah, beautiful punish. Anyway, my misplay was going Expo tucked in to get the support of the Tesla, but actually just needed the offensive pressure. No Tesla support needed. So I basically just should have, um, you know, gone for the 
uh, expo over here it would have not targeted the rg oh speaking of expo over here gonna go for one right now if my elixir counting skills serve me justice i believe he's not back to giant skeleton elixir wise he might just barely be in time okay he is uh, but it was again just barely in time because he got it down so late now i'm really worried about an evo bomber but i'm not gonna sacrifice the play i'm gonna wait for the giant skeleton to cross the bridge and then go knight i didn't want to like preemptively knight super early on and I'm actually going to log this fisherman as well, just to try and get a mini lock right now. He does go for the log himself, so that's going to, you know, save him. I'll also cycle my skeleton, just because they actually do get value against cannoneer, as you can see. We force out the e-spirit. So he's playing fireball. This isn't a ter- oh, I have a lot of discord messages. This isn't a terrible matchup, actually, because he does, in fact, have a fireball. Also, Tesla should hopefully pulse on most of those bats. Yeah, we get most of them. Uh, bomber, super annoying, super busted card, but only gets two bounces, so not the end of the world. And Tesla's putting in quite a lot of work right now. Gonna defensive expo. It's one of the better plays against RG. Especially when you're in kind of a tough stalemate like I am right now. Look at that pulse, by the way. Beautiful. Gonna go for the Ice Spirit Skellies on this RG. Just DPS it down. Pulse again. Beautiful. And I'm gonna go for an expo now because I feel like I've earned it. He's gonna Giant Skeleton, which is okay by me. I mean, um, that's a free fireball. I'm actually gonna take it. Giant Skeleton, Bomber, and Tower. Definitely taking that. And some bats. Beautiful fireball value. And I might as well just protect this expo a little more. Okay, we do force out the RG, which is great. We'll go for my Evo Archers. We will force out a fireball with this one. And then since he does go for the fireball, I think I can literally ignore this and expo at 6. Because the Duchess will kill the RG. And I'm cooking right now, guys. He probably has a giant skeleton back. Um, but, like, he's still in quite a lot of trouble right now. Gonna Knight. I think he's back to Evo Bomber. I can't risk it. Yep, beautiful by me. Honestly, that was just really risky to... Uh, have an Evo Bomber on my tower, and I did not want to take that chance, so I'm really glad I didn't, and that worked out super well. Beautiful! Oh, that sequence was so nice. Oh my god. I still get a lock. Like, that was just really good. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I'm playing really well right now. I'm gonna go Expo again. He's probably going to go for some overcommit. I think I pushed this RG out of Tesla range, so I'll go in like this right now. Um, Knight to predict a Bomber. Skeletons for this fisherman late. That's going to be a lock pretty soon. I'll fireball to make sure I get a lock because I'm getting a lock whether he wants me to or not. And that's going to be a good game. Pre log for the E Spirit. Yeah, okay. We we just really cooked this game, dude. Like, this was a flawless game against RG. So I'll take it. You know, he's being a good sport as well. He's not like, uh, okay, he says thanks. I'll just say good luck. I'll just pretend his thanks was to me saying good luck. But yeah, that was a beautiful win, guys. I am really good against RG as well. Like, if I play well, if I'm not out of my element, because sometimes I choke and play really stupid, if I'm playing well, I really cook against RG. So, uh, that's how you do it. Into our next one against Grampole4Z. I have no idea what that means, but... Brazilian clan. No racism what whatsoever, guys. I just really hope to God this isn't Giant Graveyard. That's all I'm going to say, because there is a history there. Um... Oh my god, I think it's giant. Anyway, we're gonna expo opposite. Let's find out the hard way. Oh my god, okay. Um, that's a terrible ice wizard, though, I'll be honest. Although, this is the thing. Duchess is really weak against giant. And again, beatdown of all sorts. So, <sighs> gonna kite this mega back. Expo will cook, though. and we're That was actually really perfect. Wow. That was... Dude, this is like a 100-0 matchup. I'm quite sure. This dude literally has... Giant, I'm pretty sure he has Arrows Lightning in this deck, if I'm not mistaken. Like, oh my goodness. Um, but I'm going to go Expo. I think we've outcycled the Giant right now, and I need this really badly. I need anything I can get right now. So let's go in. He's not back to Giant yet. As I told you guys, look at that. But uh, now I'm really scared because, okay, he's leaking. I'm going to Knight. This is worth it. I don't care. Like, it's not in range. I need this damage. I'm going to Knight like that. Guys, we're about to beat a 100 100-0 matchup pretty much. Giant, Lightning, and I'm pretty sure he has Arrows too. Like, this is a real deck. And I just kind of destroyed him in a single Elixir. Like, that was really clean. Um, so I'll take that. I believe he had Archers in Cycle, so that was kind of a misplay. Letting that go and going Lightning like that. Uh, I'm going to go for my Log now. Just chip him down, really. And Pump. Of course he has a Pump. So yeah, this is literally a 100 matchup, matchup, guys. Um, I don't know about the level differences against pump and spells if the pump's like a few levels under leveled like one level under i don't believe it changes any interactions though i could be wrong anyway we haven't played a single test of the whole game that's pretty funny and i i know that because my evos are on zero cycles right now but i'll go for the tesla first just to get it planted down evo archers right now i think he has arrows in this deck i mean i'm pretty sure he would um actually he might not just because he does have the uh pump which kind of takes away some slots in his deck. But I'll go Expo. He's probably just going to line up a bowler. Yeah, that's not really too big of a deal. I mean, I just wanted to pressure. I will take this Fireball, though, and I'll Ice Spirit as well. 
just to distract one bowler hit. And I think I can actually get a log if I go for a sneaky log right now. Beautiful play. Look at that, guys. I love those last second logs. Like, that's going to single-handedly take the entire tower. Yup. The dude had a NATO. He was not ready for it. Going to pre-Tesla because he's most likely going to go for a lightning with his next big giant push. And he has... Dude, what is he doing, actually? I'm just going to do this. I don't... Like, I'm just going to fireball. I'm just going to stall this giant out on his own side. Yeah, he gives me the well-played, like... I don't know why he would giant the back with such little time left. I'll literally just stall him out. I don't care. So, yeah, that's going to be game. Beautiful win right there. Evo Archers. Let me just make sure the fireball is on those as well. And that is how you do it, guys. We just beat quite literally a 100-0 matchup. Because the dude had giant, lightning, pump, and he had bowler. Like, there should be no way I get a lock against that matchup. But it's just about outplaying them, especially when they play unconventional. I suppose the Ice Wizard and Mega Minion were pretty useless. Um, but I still think with the core of Giant, Bowler, Lightning, Pump, Archers, you should not lose to Expo with that deck. So that was really clean. Either way, we are now two wins away from Ultimate Champion, so let's get it, guys. I am feeling pretty good right now. Again, that MK recruits loss kind of sucked, but this one, uh, so everything else so far has been nice. Good luck by my opponent back. That is a Japanese name, if I'm not mistaken. Just gonna log. Skeletons as well. Level 14 skeletons for that matter. I'll just knight. I don't want a skeletons. Guys, sometimes I see a lot of you, like I watch some of my uh, people in my Discord server and my clan. A lot of people just cycle cycle cards for no reason. Like, just a cycle, which is not too big of a deal. And we are actually against 3.0 Expo Cycle. I can't believe my eyes, guys. At least I think we are. Um, but a lot of people just cycle cycle cards for the sake of it. And that's not really a great thing. Because... You don't want to do that. You would actually want to get as much value out of any card you have in any situation. And so, the reason I went... I think I went Knight the back, if not mistaken there. Oh, it's... Okay, it's Hog. Well, that's really sad, guys. Because I was really looking forward to uh, Expo Mirror. And he had every single card to make it look like an Expo Mirror. But I guess not. Anyways, I'm actually more comfortable against Hog, to be honest with you. Like, I'm very comfortable in the Hog matchup. I feel like the Expo matchup, if they have, like, a random Evo Knight, that just makes it very hard for us as uh, the Thrupano player in the Mirror matchup, because I play with Evo Archer's Evo Tesla. Anyways, digression aside, we're going to take the Fireball and the Firecracker, and Hog is really bad against Duchess. I think Ice Spirit Skeletons actually full counters it. So, if he tries to go for any kind of hog antics right now, I'll show it to you guys. I'm going to go skeletons. Okay, he does go for the ice root, but I think this, this should still full counter, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we take one hit, but that's okay. Like, I'm okay taking that just to keep the elixir, and I'll go in now because I am up elixir. Um, what's he going to do? Knight? Okay, going to go knight like this and archers instantly because he might building. EQ is fine. Firecracker is also fine. This should still be a mini lock. Or, if anything, at least we forced out a lot of elixir. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be a lock, actually. But we did force out a lot of elixir, so it's okay. And I can actually activate King, guys. If you are fast enough against Firecracker, even before she dies, to the tower, yes, perfect. Beautiful activation. And that's going to be super helpful for the rest of the match. I'm not going to fireball. I was going to literally fireball his tower. Then I remembered he's already played two Firecrackers. So he's back to his Evo Firecracker next time around. And I absolutely cannot uh, afford to mess around with that. So Evo Cycle tracking, super important, guys. Just want to... Make sure you know that, because you do not want to get cheesed. Yep, Evo Firecracker right there. Going to fireball it. That's actually going to hit my tower. I'm super surprised, to be honest with you. Um, and I'll go in in the left right now. He's getting damage in the right. I'll go in. Let's see what we can make happen here. Yeah, he's back to his knight. So Honestly, he is. this is exactly what I was talking about. Um, I did say it was in the context of the 3 Pino mirror, but either way, Evo Knight is super good against Expo. Like It's actually busted, so this isn't looking that great right now. I mean, I'm, I'm actually losing in terms of damage, but I'll just fireball his tower to get the damage lead back. Tesla is going to do Tesla things and get those pulses out. Uh, going to go night high. The reason I'm going night high, guys, is because he has a firecracker, and firecracker is super annoying, so I'm not just going to let him get firecracker lined up onto my tower if I go like low night to cycle, if you know what I mean. Really uh, overcommit type EQ, though, so I'm going to try and punish that. He might predict me. Or, he's protecting his firecracker pretty well, I suppose. I'll go in nonetheless. I mean, I don't really care. Uh, I'm going to have to do some crazy cycling skills right now. I think I can do it. Tesla, please. Oh, God, I got it down too late. That's my bad. Okay, guys, I'm actually losing this game right now. This is not looking good. Uh, Ice Spirit for this night, though. Please kill it. Kill it. And we get a lock. Beautiful. I need that really badly because I was losing in damage otherwise. I'll go in again. This Tesla's just sitting there, by the way, like, annoying him. And that'll full counter. Now I'll fireball the knight because I need the tower damage while he EQs my other lane. And just like that, we are back in this match. Gonna skeletons to predict a building. That's a lock right there. Beautiful. And uh, I should have Ice Spirit as well for that, but it's okay. I'm already back to my next Evo Tesla. 
and this game is wraps now. If I don't choke and I don't miss a Tesla placement, there is no way he wins this game. So nice stuff. I'm going to go for the Debo right now. Uh, Tesla as well. Look at that pulse. Beautiful as always. And I'm going to log this Firecracker, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just want to get it killed. And uh, this defensive expo is putting in a lot of work. He's kind of reluctant to fire or to earthquake it, which is really good for me. Ice Spirit Skellies predicts the Tesla, but look at this. As I said, Ice Spirit Skellies does full counter a, a hog. Unfortunately, what doesn't full counter is me misplacing my expo by one, but we'll just treat it as a defensive expo, honestly. It's not the end of the world. It's actually helping against this hog right now, and I'll log to make sure it dies. Now I have the double expo set up right now, and I hope I can show you guys a super cool trick. Maybe I can. Um, okay, I can't, because he goes for that pretty good play. It's okay. Just have to not miss a Tesla, and we win. So, no hits. Okay, fireball number one. I think I can get two fireballs off right now if I cycle fast enough, so I'm going to log all of that. Um, and that's the second fireball in time. I'm pretty fast at my cycling, so GG's. Really nice win against Hoggy Q. Ended up lapping him by 1k in the end. So, really nice stuff overall. Uh, pretty good game against Hoggy Q. It was honestly not the greatest start. But unfortunately for him, he kind of just started choking towards the end, and it kind of just went downhill for him. I mean, that was really good. Like, I just controlled the game after the sort of sloppy start in single, and so that was very nice. So, uh, let's go in again. We are one-off Ultimate Champion now, so we're going to get that 95% win rate, guys. Let's get it. Berlin, good luck to you, my friend. I'm not going to choke. It's fitting that we get a Dagger Duchess opponent right now. I don't think we've gotten too many. Uh, knight the back, I'm going to go Expo opposite first play, because he went Knight, that could be his main tank for the Expo. Does have a P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to go Skeleton's Ice Spirit for this, and might get a lock, actually, if I'm lucky. Log the P.E.K.K.A. last second, because he won't expect it, really. Beautiful. And I'm going to... I'm not going to Knight, actually. I'm not going to do anything for that, because the Duchess will shred it. Look at that. And that's going to be a lock. I'm going to hover my Knight. Yep, Bandit comes down. Knew something was coming down, so I'll Knight right now. He's probably going to Zap any second now. Yep, right there, and so I'm probably just going to Expo at 6, being real with you guys, because he probably has to go Ram right now. He's not back to his uh, ex or to his P.E.K.K.A. He's back to his Knight, actually. Yeah, that's fine for him. But the tower will put in work against this Knight. Look at that. And now, what's he doing? He has no E was in cycle, no Zap. So, I guess that's a good game. That was really good Elixir counting, guys. Like Elixir counting and card cycle tracking as well. That's how you really do it. I outcycled the P.E.K.K.A., I got a huge lock, and he was too low on Elixir to really do anything, so that's exactly what you want to see. We also get the activation, so this game is pretty much over already. I'm honestly considering making that a YouTube short. Like, that was hella clean, like, winning in the first minute like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Ram, yeah, I thought he was going to Ram. Honestly, what he should have done is gone Battle Ram. Like, Knight Ram instantly. I couldn't have really killed that, but he kind of messed up. Okay, Pekka here. Let me log that, and then skeletons to make sure this ram goes into my Tesla. Then I'll Ice Spirit to make sure it doesn't charge onto the Tesla. And that is going to be a flawless defense. As you can see, the double duchess putting in work, plus the king tower. Terrible Evo Knight. He's literally doing that at like zero elixir. Just to show you guys that I'm right, I'm going to expo again. Okay, on that note, I did forget that my duchess was zero charge. So that was maybe not the best advised expo. But I was still right, because as you can see, if that died, I would have gotten a nice lock. I mean, that was just me trying to show something that didn't work out, obviously. But uh, he was low on elixir. I just didn't realize my duchess was so low. The dude's definitely going to P.E.K.K.A. in front again. I mean, he's already done it once. Why wouldn't he do it again? Yup, so just going to kite this over preemptively with my skeletons. Then I'll go for my ice spirit to freeze this ram. Uh, Knight as well goes for a really weird zap. I don't know what's up with that. And I'll go for my archers like this, because I kind of want to do something right now. I'll fireball that to take it out. And I'm going to cook right now, guys. I'm going to expo. Okay, never mind. We we, we, we got our accomplishment, uh, or we got our goal. Like, we did what we wanted to do, which was basically either pressure with an expo opposite, or force him out to the point where he would have to fireball opposite lane, which he doesn't want to do. The reason I went archers at the bridge right there is because I think he has evil firecracker in cycle, and I thought he was going to go for them. Uh, or go for that, rather. So I thought it was like kind of a no-brainer play. Not much risk anyways. And now we just cycle two fireballs. So number one right there. And I uh, just have to get back to the second one. This is absolutely no stress on this defense. Um, I literally just log everything right to protect my archers. And we're back to the fireball. Log also kills the firecracker. GG. Picture perfect game against P.E.K.K.A., guys. Not the hardest of matchups, honestly. Um, and yeah, I'll take that. So that's going to be our ultimate champion. I think it's a 95% win rate again. Let's see. 19, oh, 1960. Yeah, yeah, that's 95 because 40. Uh, I'm not going to show the calculation for the... Actually, I probably will because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. But essentially, um, 
there's a formula for the win rate. I'll put it on the screen right about now for you guys. And uh, you can refactor and make the win rate the subject to calculate your win rate based on the medals you've gotten. They unfortunately removed the win rate screen, but uh, it's okay. I mean, I already got 1960 with a 95% on my other account, so this is literally a direct mirror to that. Again, I should have been 97 or 98. I don't know how the math would have worked out, but it's just tough because I lost to this really stupid uh, situation. Again, I'll just show you really quickly, I suppose. Um, and this is a lesson on what not to do because a lot of you guys also say you want to see me post my losses and be more educational in that sense so hopefully this you know goes out to all of you guys who asked for that but yeah recruits first play honestly when i when he did this i was like well played bro but i did not think he had an mk like who plays recruits mk so i went expo because like worst case i should be able to defend whatever comes down but he did the good play of actually just ignoring this expo and basically putting me down six elixir so i can't defend this because the dutch has targeted the oops axe and they rewinded my bad guys or rewound i guess i don't know which word it is but uh, yeah, I accidentally rewound, uh, but you can see the Duchess targets the MK, and that's not it, because now I have this situation. I go for the Knight, I go for the Ice Spirit, and I go Archers. I, I did not think he had arrows, although I should have known. Um, but I go Skeletons as well, try and activate King, and this is where the 0 HP Duchess really screws you over, because she really just said screw me over. This is like, again, she's bad against beatdown. If she gets overwhelmed, she just dies. And I tried to come back, but obviously I'm not going to come back in a Tower Trade situation. Against this deck, like, I tried, I got kind of close, but I also took a lot of damage trying to do that. Anyways, though, lesson learned, guys, in that uh, situation, in that position, if you're in, ever in that situation, if you want to play it safe, uh, I would still do that play, honestly. You, ne you never should face Recruit's MK, so that's only because it was, like, a weird mid ladder deck that it worked against me. But if you're ever in that situation, you need something to happen where you don't want to lose to Recruit, and you don't want what happened to me to happen to you, just don't go for the expo there. Full defend. Go your split archers, go center Tesla, log. You can easily full defend without spending six on an expo, so that's my advice to you. But anyways, that's about it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the ultimate champion push. I'm going to be pushing up on this account this season, Legendary Pop. I'm honestly going for 3k or higher medals, so you can expect to see some pretty intense pushing going on. We'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video, or hope you did, and I hope you enjoy the upcoming content. Again, there are great things in store so i hope you're excited but that's about it for the video so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed take care and i will see you in the next one